Okay. So we're at the houseboat. Uh, this looks like a <laughs> abandoned as fuck. Latrec. Oh, that's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. Yeah, it's a. Oh, it's a felony. Don't tamper with mail. Found a mailbox labeled a trek. We can't get into it though. Mom says it would be illegal, but that's quitter talk. <laughs> no, it is a felony to tamper with mail. Danger, do not enter. This reminds me of the beach in Death Stranding. Hmm. It's it's graffitied. going off a little bit. Can we even get down there? How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. We want to get across to the boat, but if we try to jump that gap, we'll break our shin bones. Maybe there's something around here that we can use to get across. We need like a... Not a plank, but um... It's like that, that big like ladder thing that you that you put between a dock and a and a larger ship a crossing board excuse me is that what they're called Why on earth did I just touch that? Ugh. Pretty old knives. Oh my god, those are dull as fuck. Yikes. Somebody has anger issues. Couldn't just set down the knife gently, could ya? Hmm. Huh. Boater's hat. Please remember this is a shared facility for all residents who fish off of their boats uh, or the dock. If you borrow equipment to clean or prepare your catch, return it to its storage space in an orderly in an orderly fashion. And if you please, and if you clean your catch on the workbenches here, please clean up thoroughly before retiring for the evening. We all rely on one another's consideration to keep the fishing shack in good shape. This means you, Pierre. St. Jude Dam gets go ahead. Important notice. 
All dock vessels must be removed prior to August prior to October 1st, 1974, due to the scheduled completion of the St. Jude River Dam projects. No exceptions by authority of Algoma Municipal Board. Hmm. <gasps> Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. He was here, but we still need to get across the boat. There has to be like a cross board or something. Oh, yeah, it's right here. This thing. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we. What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or. or. But we're already here. And the trailer home. Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think. If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? <sighs> okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor... Aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Ha. Huh. Let's flip a coin. Call it heads or tails. Heads. No. No. I'm going first. It's my filial duty. You really think it's dangerous? If I thought it was dangerous, I wouldn't walk across at all. Great. Then we'll flip a coin. I call heads. Oh my god. I lost. In a manner of speaking, after you. All right. Here I go. Careful. <laughs> Not very climactic. Not quite as scary as I thought. Yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy. Especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's hope we can say the same for the rest of the boat. <laughs> you guys can't hear that, but... My girlfriend's in the other room playing Amnesia, and I think she just got jump scared. Boy, this guy sure loves his alcohol, that's for sure. locked this must be where the money is <laughs> i seriously doubt that but regardless we'll have to can i just kick it in i'd say you're free to try but i don't want you hurting yourself how sturdy can it be it's a door <sighs> all right pretty sturdy <laughs> yeah people in movies make it look like it's easy to to break a door down but that's because it's a it's a rigged door Real doors are a little harder to break in. That's why firefighters need actual tools to, to break it down. One that could probably crush your ribs if they hit it with or hit you with it. Pierre's office. Whatever's in there could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course it's locked because nothing's ever easy. Nope. Welcome to real life. Nothing's easy. What is this? I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. A houseboat. It's a romantic thought living right on the water, but don't you suppose it might be a bit small for both of us and two children, including a teenager? Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? We are still here, waiting for the heat to die down. 
While I'm excited to start our new life afresh, I have begun to rack up worries. How will the children react? With all they've already been through, what do you suppose my parents will think? And us just disappearing. My poor mother, she's already lost a son-in-law. Won't people come looking for us? Are you sure there's no other way? Helen. So she was getting cold feet. And for good reason, honestly. Who just uproots their life to go live on a houseboat with some strange man? Especially when you Where have kids. Grandma? Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? Oh. Fuck it, I'm gonna go there. We've already been fighting. One where you and dad were still together. One where you and dad were still together? <sighs> I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, it's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. Hmm. Wow. Wow, this is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? More... Oh, you mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her yeah. smile. Surprised I see it that often. <laughs> wow. Wow. Cool. Tess, don't touch that. Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like, <clears throat> never mind. And oh, I why the pages all stuck together? <laughs> the winter campus fashions in 1968 and patterned tights. But really, put that down. They really put some detail into the outside world. I love that. Cool. Nobody to spy on now. True. Let's see receipt? What is this? Hato Lake, Ontario, August 2nd, 1968. Received from Mr. Pierre Lautrec. $3,000 in exchange for the houseboat, The Idol On. H. Wisner. $3,000 in 1968? What is that equivalent to now? Nineteen sixty-eight to now. Oh my God! Three thousand nine, three thousand dollars in nineteen sixty-eight is equivalent to twenty-seven thousand one hundred and forty-five dollars, roughly, in twenty twenty-four. Holy shit! That's a lot of money. <sighs> Captain's head. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? I don't think so. No 
little lighter. Old coffee mugs, lamp. Downstairs from here. I think we've seen all we can see up here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there a. Hold on. No, not in here. I know I can go down there, but wasn't there a way to get down from this side too? Maybe? Yeah. Flare gun. Dodge this. <laughs> Graffiti. Not really anything else. There we go. Home. This looks intense. A straight What's the brushy thing for. It's a straight razor. Or uh single blade disposables or something. I don't think that's a straight razor actually. Robbers hit again in Porton. Local and state police are looking for a group of thieves who made off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from claim and clothiers, clothiers in a burglary Saturday night. According to state police, the men broke into the store around 1.20 a.m. They dismantled the, safe, the store safe, taking the money bag before fleeing. There were no witnesses. We're encouraging local businesses to deposit all cash into all cash to their banks at the end of each business day, said Officer Went. Randall Weston of the part of the Porton Police. Until the burglars have been apprehended, it's too risky to leave any money in the store overnight. Michigan State Police have set up an anonymous tip line for any information on the identities of the thieves. Do we think this guy is a thief? The burglary ring. Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? <sighs> Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? <laughs> so semantics. Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they semantics so sure at that point. Me? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers, like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Uh, why not? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, that's right. 
a ledger. Date, description, debit, credit, August, cash, travel supplies, lunch, postcards, etc. Groceries, Olsen's, Cavaliers, liquor, whiskey, wine, Charlie's, supplies for the girls, craps game, groceries, October 4th, boat supplies, life preservers, nav equipment, horse race, Newman's track, Groceries, coffee, wine. Dude's a gambler. The 19th Charlie. Bedding, clothes, etc. Loan to John H. for house. Number first, cash. Cavaliers, whiskey, port, vodka, poker, Cavaliers, poker, lunch with the guys, March, May. Hmm. Hold on a second. There's no date on this. Hmm. Boy, he really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. Well, some of it was on this boat. Yeah, seems like he really loved it. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August living here? Maybe then she would have been a famous painter because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. Little Houseboat on the River? Rolls off the tongue. Little Houseboat on the River? <laughs> Certainly a lot of certainly a lot of alcohol balls around balls, bottles, balls. I don't know where that British came out 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 of. Of course, I said balls, not bulls. Pips, four cents off regular price. Pips coffee, vacuum can, one pound net weight. Regular grind. Hmm. Sounds like good coffee. And then we have the bar. Some cigarettes. It's like a whole box of cigarettes not smoked. Hundred proof. Hmm. Stewart's special dessert. Guy liked his whiskey. Aha! And got a key. And a receipt. Attention, every. Oh, crap. That doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Smoking tobacco for a pipe. And there's the pipe. I've smoked out of a pipe before. It was fine. You have to clean it pretty regularly, though.
the office. Not really anything in here. I've received your latest letter. This is my final response. You say you did all this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, you did it for yourself. You were the one who was unsatisfied with our home, our income, and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless illegal means. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without even telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along. I'm not following along anymore. You say these are your kids too. Of course they are, but they're my children as well. I'm here with them every day, comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father, trying my very hardest to keep up the ruse, but I'm getting used to it. Used to doing this on my own, used to speaking for myself to living this new life. I'm regaining my footing. I'm starting to feel okay. God damn. Hmm. <sighs> I guess that's it. So I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre, she realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? Not at all. No, not at all. It was her chance to have her own independence. And who would want to give up their whole life, everything they know, just for some guy and some money? People have done worse for less. Yeah, but Grandma had a pretty good life, didn't she? Her advice column, her art, her kids, her house. Maybe she just needed a little time to herself to realize how good she had it. Yeah. Looks like a thing? mailbox key. Oh, I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you can be so nosy sometimes. Excuse me. Speech still reminds me of <laughs> Death Stranding. I think we've seen pretty much everything we can see in the houseboat. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats, too. If this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. If this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. Is that how that works? I don't know, probably. Makes sense to me. I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. Sheriff's Department. He was mailing it to the... What? Insufficient postage. To whom it may concern, I now confess my culpability for a spate of burglaries which resulted in the theft of almost one half of a million dollars. I had worked as a, propri as a property inspector for Keene County for over 10 years. At a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. 
I was given 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection from the store's security. At, as time went on, the stores they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no way to back out of the, re the arrangement as they had threatened not only my safety but that of my family as well. Seeing no other option, I falsified a death certificate with papers I lifted from the county office. I left my wife and daughters to cross the border under an assumed name, giving them instructions to follow me. They They never did. I wish I regret having asked them to. What little of my stolen profits remain I have destroyed. My wife, Helen, knew nothing of my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no other choice. She is innocent. My decision to involve myself in this series of crimes was mine alone. I ask only that you leave my wife and daughters alone. This is my confession. Leonard Lambros. What the fuck? So Pierre was my dad he never died this whole confession but it never made it it's been here ever since i can't believe it oh well, it my god my there. hair is sticking up no i mean rhetorically test jeez right uh, uh, i <sighs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all or whatever this would have been not except with grandpa's secret identity <sighs> So my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. It kind of did happen, though, didn't it? It kind of did happen, though, didn't it? As far as you knew, it did. You lived with that your whole life, so... So... To you, it did. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just... Abandoned us. All this time, he was... Here. He gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't, I can't even imagine. I just wish I could have talked to her about it while she was alive. I just... Wish you could have been there for her? Wish you could have been there for her? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us. Lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything? Even when we were all grown up. Maybe... Maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah. Maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So... That's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad. <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. Oh my god, I fucking mean, talk about it. Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. There we go. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... 
kind. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, hard working. Stop, stop. You make me cry. <laughs> Just such an amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. So we're in the car after leaving the houseboat. We found out that this mystery man turned out to be actually her dad. Oh, oh excuse me. Sorry. No, oh, that's the old receipt. Oh, that's right. We still don't have our phone. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. My own goals. I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. Huh. So you asked about what happened with me and dad. Oh, right. Uh -huh. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems. Our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing. And then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but he is going for it. Mm, yeah. I mean... I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream, and he had to follow it. I get it. Right, right, my little web entrepreneur. It's like Matt Damon in Rounders. It's not really like Rounders. I mean, he wins a lot in Rounders, and he's a lot more handsome. Huh. He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married said we could make it work but by that time it was already over yeah exactly i realized that this this was a pattern that would never really end do you blame me for ending it <sighs> no no i get it and you needed his support, and he just ran away. Kind of forced your hand. Oh, yeah. excuse me. Oh my gosh. Kind of. That's sorry, sucks, mom. But I do miss him. I'm sorry for buying the tickets. Oh, I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought, I don't know, that Dad like explain everything to me in a way that made sense, and that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. 
to Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Are, are you sure, Mo? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. I miss August mac and cheese. Bad chance. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Mom. <laughs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick ass. How many finally moms opened up. Packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret or run their own business, run a community theater. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, you know, that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Well, I've yeah, seen you pay a lot of money to do that, too. And you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford, like Grandma and me. It's silly, but, but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like doing Kurt? Like doing Kurt? I'm gonna let that double entendre pass right by me. But yeah, it's hard to let go, to <laughs> see you as an adult and not just... <coughs> my baby girl mom you were so cute back then even cuter than now stop and you had the biggest head everyone said it everyone said that's the baby with the biggest head bowling ball head the bowling ball baby <laughs> yep and it was all your dad on my side we all have perfect tiny little heads like golf balls mm-hmm so, what do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah. I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? That seems like a good choice. It seems like a good choice. Even if it's just for a while, at least we'd have a place to stay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Are you worried about the theater? Or my school? These days I'm worried about everything. But I'm confident too. Confident we can figure it out. Yeah. We've been through so much this last year. You've been through so much. I just, I have to have faith that we'll continue to make things work. Yeah, me too. I will say, August's house is pretty. Her bathtub is the size of my bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it'll be worth it for the bathtub alone. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey, August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. <laughs> is he even still alive anymore? Well, That's what I'm wondering. I'm just glad, I'm glad you're with me. Yeah, me too. Oh, is that it? I was expecting more stuff. That was really good though. It was shorter than I expected. So, Maybe for, for YouTube, I'll just, t instead of starting at the end of that break, I'll just 
cut this part into uh, the end of the last part. That was really good. I was not expecting that twist, though. I'll, I'll say that for sure. That was pretty good. Oh, chapter selection. Nice. Wow, that was a that was a lot shorter than I expected. Cuz I know this felt a lot like um Gone Home, but with uh I guess more of a what's the word a more deliberate narrative where gone home had a much more subtle narrative. i mean there was a main narrative to gone home but a lot of the side stories you kind of had to figure out for yourself this one maybe didn't have a lot of side stories i guess that was good though i liked this oh there's our grandma's diary over here that was really good. Okay. That's going to do it for me tonight. Uh, we're going to say hi to OK Dan, who is playing Jedi Fallen Order. I believe it is her first playthrough of it. Um, so just be respectful of spoilers. Uh, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I will talk to you next week.